Welcome along to this video. If this file looks familiar, it's because it's from video number 54. In this video, we are able to click on this print icon. A user form popped up that had a series of names on it. I called this Available Athletes. You could select as many athletes as you like, and when you click OK, what it would do would print out this particular strength template with their individual 1RM scores populating the form. Now I had many emails and questions about that particular file and project. So what I wanted to demonstrate is that you can replicate that whole process, skipping the part, which is the user form, which causes the most problems. There is a lot of code around those user forms, which makes them a little bit difficult. And another thing is that on Mac computers, those user forms can be a little bit problematic at times. So I wanted to demonstrate that you could also do it very easily just from a sheet. So I've created a ridiculously simple example of a report. Choose the name from the list. It populates these numbers and a little in-cell chart here makes it a little bit pretty. Now this data is coming from a sheet back here. So this is really a simple example of, um, of, of a report. I've set up a print area, so we know this is going to be printed out. Here is my list. Now when I did the file video 54, the user form, when it emptied, when you clicked OK, it simply pasted the names to this list anyway. And then it started at the top and went to the bottom of the list and printed each one. So we can replicate that last part really easily with just a few lines of code. What we're looking to do is print any names that are on this list and what you'll find is that um, it'll go all the way to the bottom of this list and print any names that are there. So I'm going to delete out these four so we just demonstrate with two names only on the list. Let's go into the code. Here it is here, there's only one variable. R is our variable which is the row number. And you can see here, once we're on the correct sheet, you have a loop that's called a for loop. And what it does is for each row, starting in row 5 and going down to row 20, check to see if there's any name in that cell. If there is, then paste that name into cell B4, update the formula, and print it out. Then go to the next name on the list. So that's what that code is doing. So it's taking the name John, it's pasting it here, which is the same really uh, process as selecting it from the list. And then it's clicking print. Then it's going to Chris and clicking print again. To run that macro, I'm going to put a little button in place. I'm just going to choose a shape. I'm going to use the style menu to make it black. I'm going to right click edit text and type print wizard in there. Now I'm going to right click assign macro and I'm going to call it the macro called print wizard here. And so that's what it's called up here, print wizard. So whatever you've named yours is what it will be when you right click and choose from your list of options. And so if I click this button what we will see is that my computer will try to print out each of these reports. Simple as that. And if I added more on there it would take a little bit longer because it will be cycling through five names and printing each one. And so you can see the name in cell B4 updating. 
and if we look in my print toolbox you can see that it's trying to print those files out so there we go um, the most crucial part of the print wizard there is simply the process of looping through those names so I could delete those names out each time and simply start again and it's really only a few extra second effort in comparison to uh, using that user form based method of video number 54 now apologies for not posting any videos recently I'm about 60% through a 50 video series which I intend to have a little bit of a course online I'll make that uh, available in a couple of months time hopefully and uh, it'll go start to finish through the basics of uh, writing formula, building dashboards, creating charts and setting up projects from start to finish so like I say I think I'm a couple of months away from having that finished and everything is relating to sports science and SNC so I look forward to getting that out there for you guys.